Hello everyone, I hope that, that you have a great day today. Uh, again, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you okay, uh, how to uh, create a simple okay, uh, master page, okay, maybe something like this, okay, consists of uh, two rows, okay, number one, row number one, row number two, and then two columns. Of course, uh, you can see that uh, I merged the two columns okay, uh, in uh, row one, okay? And then okay, a home page, okay, a home page with a very simple information for demonstration purpose. And also the uh, your car page okay, and services page. Again, okay, let me quickly uh, run the app okay, uh, to uh, let you uh, have a feel of okay, what it might look like. Okay, so this is the uh, home page. Okay. And I click the uh, your car page, so the content changes to the content from the uh, your card uh, page, okay? and then services page. Okay? So again, the content will be from the uh, service page. However, the uh, uh, header information and the sidebar information over here, okay, you can see that okay, they are from the uh, master page. Okay? They are from the master page. Okay, so okay, uh, let me close everything okay, and then show you again. Okay? how to create one okay, from scratch, okay? So let me go to okay, uh, file and a new okay, project and select the uh, web and then okay, make sure that okay, uh, it is SP.NET web application. And then over here, let me call it demo, okay, uh, master, okay, master page, okay? And then I'm going to get okay, uh, uh, I'm going to okay, click okay, okay, and then select the empty a project, click OK. So the software is creating the required okay, files okay, and folders for us. Okay. All right, and then uh, as you can see that there are no uh, master pages, okay, all uh, regular SP.NET pages okay, are there at all, which is correct. So let me select this one, okay, and then go to project, and then select okay, add new item, okay, and then look for the uh, web form master page, okay? Okay, web form master page. Okay, so selected one, you can see that the file name has the file extension okay, dot master there. Again, you can change the uh, uh, the file name to whatever you want, but make sure you don't change the uh, uh, the uh, okay, file extension name, okay? So keep the uh, dot master there. Click add. And then okay, uh, you can see that uh, the code is pretty much similar to the regular web page. The main differences okay, I wanted to point out will be, uh, it will have the uh, component okay, or control, okay, a called content placeholder with the ID of head. Another one okay, inside the uh, form div tag okay, is another okay, content placeholder with the ID of content placeholder one. From the names, it implies that uh, if it's a placeholder, okay, content placeholder, it means that you're going to uh, okay, I'll get some okay, uh, information from okay, uh, regular, from other okay, uh, SP.NET page. I shouldn't say regular, okay? A regular SSP page, SP.NET page, okay? From other type of page, okay? And then it me, let me switch to the design view, okay? So again, okay, I will use, okay, uh, okay, list layout, okay? List layout as an example, okay? So I'm going to okay, set up okay, a table of two rows, okay? and then two columns, and I'm going to merge the uh, two columns okay, over the first row, row, and I'm going to put an icon, okay, and then put a short uh, welcome message over there. And then okay, over the, uh, row two, okay, column one, I'm going to put a, uh, a menu control, okay. And then my uh, content placeholder okay, uh, of the master page, okay, I will put it over here, okay. So let me do that, okay, so let me do that, so again, why I'm at the uh, uh, master page, okay, I'm going to go to table, add, insert the table, and then okay, it has two rows, okay, uh, two columns by default. Okay, I will just use it, okay, I will just use it. And then again, okay, to show the uh, uh, order, okay, all grid line better. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to the, uh, uh, as a source code view and then inside the uh, table, okay, I'm going to put order, okay, equal to, okay, one, okay, one, it means that uh, you will show, okay, all the uh, grid line, okay, so you can see that it shows all the grid line, but then again, okay, in order to let you see better, okay, so I'm going to, 
uh, again, okay, or select the uh, why the table is selected. I'm going to go to the uh, style, okay, a property, okay, so style, there you go. Click the button over here, go to the block, okay, oh, sorry, go to the uh, border, okay, my bad, and then uh, style, I'm going to pick uh, dashed, okay, dashed, and then uh, the uh, thickness, okay, the width okay, of the um, uh, the uh, borderline will be uh, pretty big, okay, pretty big, okay, and then uh, let me see, okay. Oh, sorry, this might be better, okay, yeah. And then for the uh, style, I will pick this color, okay. Uh, again, uh, you can pick whatever color you like, okay, but then in order for me to show you uh, what it might look like, okay, so I pick this color, okay. It might irritate you a little bit, okay, so please bear with me. All right, and then get okay, over here, okay, I'm going to select uh, both columns, right click the mouse button, pick modify, and then pick uh, merge cell, okay. So over here, again, okay, uh, I'm going to put okay, uh, uh, an organization, okay, I come over there, okay, so I'm going to quickly go to our school's website, okay. And then I'm going to use the uh, snippet okay, uh, okay, uh, software to okay, kind of uh, okay, uh, copy okay, uh, an image, okay, copy an image, okay, or crop an image, okay, or crop uh, the, the, the image on the uh, screen, and then save the file. Okay, save the file as uh, maybe called it SE. Okay. Uh, logo, okay, yeah, I see logo. Yeah, I have a file over there already. Let me replace it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, then let me switch back to my file explorer. Okay, go to picture, pick my SE logo, right click the mouse button, copy. Okay, go back and paste. Okay, let me paste the logo there, and then there you go, it's there. And let me drag and drop, get okay, to the uh, first row, click OK. Again, uh, to make uh, okay, uh, video short, okay, so I did not go to cover a lot of details, okay. And then we'll come to South Season. Again, okay, select okay, uh, all of them, okay, go to the uh, font size over here, quick font size over here, pick extra, extra large, okay. If you want to, you can bold it, okay. All right, so that is the um, uh, design, okay, design, okay, for the uh, first row, okay. And then on the second row, okay, I'm going to put the, uh, uh, the uh, menu control over there, okay. So again, uh, if you do not have the toolbar available to you, no big deal, go to view. Select a tool a box, okay. Toolbox, not toolbar. Okay, toolbox. And by default, you you might see the controls get okay, inside the center, but close it. Okay, and then go to navigation. Okay, and then drag and drop. Instance of the menu item over there. Select edit and menu item. Click the uh, plus sign over here. Okay, and then add uh, the first okay. Uh, navigation okay, item or menu item. Okay, let me call it home. Okay, and then add another one. This one, let me call it okay, your cart. Okay, and then okay, add one more. Okay, uh, you can call this one okay, services. Okay, and then next one okay, will be the uh, about. Okay, about. Okay, the next one will be the uh, okay, contact us, okay, contact okay, us, okay. Again, uh, okay, once you are done with it, okay, uh, later on, okay, uh, if you have the web pages okay, ready, then okay, you can select the navigation, uh, navigate URL, okay, to link to that uh, page, okay. So let me click OK. And then again, uh, I might uh, increase the uh, font size okay, a little bit, okay. So let me go to the, why the menu is selected, okay, menu control is selected, go to font, okay. And pick the uh, font size, okay. And then let me select the uh, X large, okay, that should be fine, okay. And use a little bit style here, you won't hurt, all right? Okay. Yeah, okay, colorful will be fine. All right, okay, so uh, you can see that, okay, uh, okay, 
uh, this is okay, what it looked like. Okay. But then uh, over the uh, uh, sec uh, second row of second column, okay, uh, I'm going to put the uh, uh, content placeholder control in there. Okay, so I might want to give myself more room here. Okay, and then select this one. Make sure that the content placeholder shows up. Okay, yeah. And then drag the tag okay, and then put it in to uh, row two, okay, uh, row two, column two, okay. All right, and uh, again, okay, uh, can you run it right now? Yes, it will crash, okay, it will crash, okay, yeah. But then this is normal, okay, yeah. All right, so you can see that uh, it crashed, okay, because uh, the master page okay, work with the uh, uh, regular page, yeah, uh, only, okay. So now I'm going to uh, add okay, a simple uh, home page. Okay. So again, select this one, okay. And then, okay, uh, go to project and then add a new item, okay. And then look for something like this, okay. Instead of web form, look for web form with, with a master page, okay. Again, I, okay, uh, I might want to rename this one to home, okay, home. Click add. Again, uh, on the right side, okay, I have only one uh, master page created. Okay. If I have more, okay, then uh, it will give you more options. Okay, so uh, I'm going to select this okay, site one dot master page, and then I'm going to switch to design view. Okay, boom, you can see that uh, it, okay, a kind of uh, okay, merge with the okay, uh, uh, the uh, layout okay, from the, and also the information okay, from the uh, master page. Okay. So uh, you can call this one as master template okay, and then this will be uh, okay, your uh, home page. But if you try to change something okay, over the okay, first row and then uh, the sale okay, over here, you won't be able to do it. The only thing you can do is okay, uh, within this placeholder, okay, this will be the content okay, for your uh, home okay, uh, page, SPX page. Okay. So let me try something here like this. Okay. Welcome okay, to a home uh, SPX okay, page. Okay. And then okay, thank you okay, for uh, thank you for visiting okay, visiting us. Okay, dot, 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 and then come back. Okay to see okay, uh, us Once again, okay. Not very good at uh, talking and recording and typing, okay. Uh, apologize for that. All right, I'm gonna select okay, all of them and let me use the uh, extra, extra large okay, uh, font, okay. And even okay, highlight okay, this part a little bit, okay. All right, and then now, now I can run it, okay. Now I can click uh, debug and then start without debugging. Okay, okay so you can see that uh, the uh, content okay, in homepage will merge okay, with the, uh, the layout information from the master page. This is kind of a bit small. I will fix it later, okay, yeah, all right. So uh, again, this is a very simple example of showing okay, uh, you how to uh, create okay, a master page, okay, and uh, put some information over there, and then also create okay, a home uh, SP.net page to work with the master page, okay. All right, okay, so uh, the uh, okay, next video, I'm gonna show you okay, how to uh, use the, uh, the menu, okay, how to use the menu over here, okay, yeah, all right, okay, so let me stop the video now, okay.